every feature on the gun can actually be fitted to the individual. That is why I like the 1911. I am from a little town called Monument, Colorado, and I'm a gunsmith here. We're looking at my favorite gun, which would be generally a 1911, just because I'm a gunsmith by trade. 1911s are generally one of those things that we will always uh, enjoy quite a bit. I've had this gun for about three and a half years now, and it's run a lot. We've actually had it engraved because it is very, very, very accurate and very, very useful. Let's take a look at a base model, and then we'll go ahead and compare it to one that's been worked on a bit. Started life as what we call a Springfield TRP operator, produced in Genesio, Illinois. Uh, the first of models were built by a gentleman named John Moses Browning, who was more or less God in the gun industry. He's actually produced many, many firearms. This is just one that's been around for a long period of time. So what we have here is a Springfield Armory TRP operator. This is the bull barrel version as opposed to the bushing version. Uh, it just makes it lock up in a different way. It does require a full length guide rod, however. This is actually a Dawson Precision one, so we can actually take this gun apart without any tools. All right, guys, we'll go ahead and disassemble the gun itself. So we'll go ahead and verify that we are unloaded by physical and visual. Let's go ahead and remove the light, which we actually pulled back on these two tabs. We pull this guy out here, the crossbar, and that allows me to pull the light off. At this point in time, we're going to be making use of that Dawson Precision toolless guide rod where we actually just pinch that guy. And then we will release the slide until it locks in place, which makes me able to move that slide freely. So I'll just go into the notch here. We'll push that guy open, open. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and remove the slide from the frame itself. As we can see, we need to get cleaned up, but we are shooting this morning. Also, we can go ahead and pull that barrel and also the toolless guide rod out of the actual unit itself. So now we can see that monster bull barrel that we flush cut and crowned along with our disassembled slide, frame, slide stop, and light. So the nice thing is you can actually fit the 1911 to anyone's hand. So it makes it a little easier for us to run that gun. So that's why I like 1911. You can always change the grip panels to be thinner. You can change the beaver tail to be even higher or the safeties actually to be higher or lower as well. I still want to blue it and I may engrave more stuff on it just to make it more ridiculous. There's never anything that's fully done. We're always 17 to $2,000 away from the perfect gun. I'm Bubs Barrera and this is my favorite gun.